talking about the uh, aerospace sector, uh, it is forecasted that um, aerospace uh, sector will touch its highest revenue by by 2020, more than one trillion uh, USD by 2020, and this is uh, the highest in hi history. And uh, if you look at the uh, world population, uh, the uh, middle income group now it, it is uh, only 32 percent. It will increase up to 60 percent in 20 years time. Then uh, most of these people they are in the Asia Pacific region. This will uh, lead to the emergence of more airlines in this region and the traffic of aircraft will heavily increase. For the OEM, how do they respond to this? They will see that it's more profitable for them to do business in this region, in the Asia Pacific region, because all these uh, airlines companies, they buy aircraft from, from OEM like Boeing and Airbus. They, they'll be buying so many aircraft. Industry player, as per the OEM, is, is the one who dictates the, the industry. The industry will follow the OEMs. Apart from that, there are also issues. There are also issues. If you look at the um, order books of uh, Boeing and Airbus, uh, there are about 7,000 backlogs. And uh, OEM needs to uh, relook at their business strategy and they need to leverage on low cost. So uh, this is why, uh, from our point of view, we think that uh, Asia Pacific is the region where uh, the industry player will come and do their business and uh, being Malaysia, the uh, geopolitical location, the stability of the politics, the uh, competitive price that we can offer, the uh, capability in terms of human capital, we are offering Malaysia as the gateway to, to Asia. The main challenge, there are no OEMs in Malaysia, but now Airbus has already uh, come to Malaysia and started their, their business uh, for about uh, one year ago. And uh, our challenge is to get more OEMs to come to Malaysia uh, 